On this episode of The Road Chose Me, I'll show you how I chose a vehicle and then how I built it into my house on wheels for two years around Africa. The little Jeep Wrangler I drove to Argentina was amazing. It never broke down once in 40,000 miles. That being said, I wanted better sleeping and the ability to cook better food. Much as I love camping in a tent, sleeping on the ground for two years got a little bit old. The new vehicle needed strong four-wheel drive and it had to fit inside a 20-foot shipping container so I could get it from continent to continent. On top of that, I'd seen people that can sleep on top of their vehicles and inside their vehicles, and I loved having both options. After tons of research, I bought a 2007 four-door Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. I went with the Rubicon because it has stronger diffs, diff locks, and it has a low-range transfer case. This time, I wanted to be able to sleep inside my new Jeep. So my first job was to strip out the interior and see what I had to work with. I drove from Whitehorse down to Calgary, kicking off an 8,000 mile road trip that comes before the 80,000 mile road trip of my dreams. I wanted really good heat and sound insulation for the high temperatures I'm expecting in Africa, so I lined the entire floor with Dynamat. I have a plan to create a lot of interior living space that means we have to cut the stock roll bar out of the Jeep. My welding skills are basically zero and I was a little timid to start cutting into my new Jeep so I enlisted the help of my good friends Ian, Reg and Oscar. They were more than happy to start cutting up my Jeep for me. After we cut out the stock roll cage, we had to design and weld up a new roll cage that give a lot more interior space. I wanted the floor to be durable and mud-proof, so I stuck a big sheet of lino down over the whole rear section. With all of the prep work done, it was finally time to get to work building my interior cabinets. I wanted to be able to store all of my stuff and use the cabinets as a sleeping platform when needed. I started by mounting a Dometic CFX35 fridge right behind the front passenger seat and then built frames for my cabinets out of lightweight aluminum tube and plastic corner connectors. To make walls for the cabinets, I used thin plywood on the sides and 3 8 on top. I put in a lot of late nights to get those cabinets finished and it was way too dark for my camera to take time-lapse footage. When I need to, I can make a flat surface for sleeping. I was stuck on the idea of a diesel engine in my Jeep Wrangler. So I went ahead and had a used Mercedes 3 litre turbo diesel installed into my Jeep. After an enormous amount of time and effort, the engine blew up the week after I got it back. At this point, I had no idea what to do. I'd already quit my job and sold all my stuff and I was actually living in a ground tent waiting for the Jeep to be finished. I don't even know if I can do this anymore. I don't know if I have enough money. I don't know if I have enough time. Maybe this dream can't happen. Maybe I have to give it all up. I have no idea. 